What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brandon Jenkins here, and I'm doing a different video. I think I did one of these with a mini basketball, but this time it's with a real basketball. I'm at a park, so it's time for some NBA signature moves. Uh, I, I was inspired by this from Fung Bros Comedy. They, they've done like five of these. I've been, been inspired by them, but yeah. There's a goal. There's one of my friends. So, hello. BLG Brian. BLG Brian too. So go check him out. But I be, he lost his tablet, so he can't that post any videos. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. So the first move is Dirk Nowitzki, Nowitzki, however you say it. His one-legged fadeaway. Now, the reason why it's a signature move is because he's done it so many times and has got so much repetition that he makes it a lot and that it's kind of easy. And the thing about his fadeaway is you use your knee when you lift up cr to create that space because your defender isn't going to be pushing against that. So, yeah, let's, let's uh, show you how it looks. Alright, so the next move is Jeremy Lin's uh, reverse layup. Now his reverse layup, he doesn't do, he doesn't switch hands like Kyrie Irving. He stays with one hand and he kind of like swoops it around so it's harder for the defender to hit out. But he also keeps it in one hand. So he keeps it, if he's going in on the basket on the right side, he's gonna keep it with his right hand. If he's going on his left side, left side, he'll keep it with his left hand. So I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so the next one is the Kembe Mutombo's finger wag. This is kind of a celebration, but the Kembe Mutombo was one of the best blockers to ever be in the NBA. So, I'm gonna have BLG Brian be, I don't know, somebody tiny. He's gonna be Allen Iverson, because they played in the same year. So he's gonna be Allen Iverson, he's gonna be driving in, he's gonna shoot it. I'm gonna block him, I'm gonna give him the finger wag. So, here we go. All right, the next one is Tim Duncan's bank shot. Um, as the Funk Bro said, he is one of the most greatest, most boring players ever. Because his signature move is a bank shot. But he's, he's really, like, he's just skilled. He's not as much athletic as he is skilled. So even when he's, even in his career, like now, compared to when he first started, you didn't really see much of a drop off. That's why he's been playing so long. So he he kind of like squares up to the defender and puts it up really high and banks it in. So let's see the move. And now for I think the fifth move is Derrick Rose's Euro hop step. Now what a Euro step is, is like a, 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 a hardened layup. Um, so what you're doing is you're taking a step in one direction and you're taking another step in the other direction. Um, this was popularized by Manny Ginobili and James Harden. I'll show you that right here. This isn't uh, Derrick Rose's. I'll show you his after this, but this is what the Euro step looks like. All right, now for now that you saw the Euro step, now you can see the uh, Derrick Rose Euro step. So here we go. All right, now for the last and final move uh, by James Harden. It's the hot sauce crossover, sort of. Um, what he does in this move is he does a couple of, you know, crosses. And then with his final cross, he goes through the legs. 
But with that, he steps back. So at the same time, you're going through the legs and stepping back. And the thing about James Harden's shot is he doesn't square up to the basket at all. It's more like a he does that with his feet than that. So there's the basket. So he mo does more of that. And he kind of like turns his body and shifts it in a weird way. Uh, but yeah, let's see his uh, crossover and swish. Boy, if you don't get... Alright, if you can't tell what that was, all this uh, kind of celebration. Cooking with the wrist motion, you know. Um, but let's do some celebrations. You... <sighs> I wasn't going to make that. But let's do some celebrations. So, that was number one. James Harden, we're going to do about three or four of them. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm in love with the... You also have the classy ones like Michael Jordan. Boy, if you don't get... Here's how it should look kind of more. Look out! So, after all those, I might as well end it off with a trick shot, right? So, let's do it. So yeah, that was my trick shot at the end. Nobody really does that in the NBA. Steph Curry could probably do it easily, but what about that? Yeah, I hit the pole. I'm, I'm kind of garbage. But let's try this one. Ah, so close. Well, that was my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't really have a celebration at the end. Come on. But yeah, I did a trick shot, so good enough. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments below if you liked it. <clears throat> That's not going in. But yeah, so peace on the streets. Stay beastly. <clears throat> that was terrible. Stay beastly.